There's a couple of things now, so once we're still pottering on in the garden, I want to show you a garden luxury. Right, morning everybody, how is everybody? It's a big day today, it's freedom day today, and it's, it's an even bigger day. It's the 19th of July, it's my birthday. Yes, I turned around last night and then all of a sudden midnight, I'm 55, for God's sake. So, and actually 55, just while we're here, is the, it all hinges on that, this one date, because this is the one date where I can kind of, not the one date, but the one date I needed, to go part-time so I've got two more night shifts then I'm part-time which means three on four off three on ten off little cycle like oh so every ten days off man man anyway what I first want to do is big thank you to Phil you know Phil the cucumber with the cucumber with the rhubarb trying to impress me my wife he sent us with a little present there some seed packets well it's funny enough funny enough I put this this is a um, spring onion seeds there and I, I took it out it was on it's going to be in the bed that was or was in the bed that had is going to have the sprout and broccoli but as you notice there's a load of seeds there so and I'll be able to use these as well Phil to you know when I kind of giving away seeds and stuff like that little competition so thank you very much for that so I came up yesterday and it was just so hot I just to be honest it was just so hot and I was kind of but I did, I put out those, those are me broccoli down there. It was just far too hot and I couldn't be bothered. Oh, she's eating me bloody broccoli. Daisy, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? So it was just too hot and everything was, and I just thought, oh, come on, I'm just going to potter and do a few things and I'll show you what I've done. One thing was... I think I've had my horse pipe on gentle flow for ages and it's taken us ages to get into water. And I realized this hose pipe has got like a, a button, this dial there, can you see it? And I had that turned down wrong. So what did I do yesterday? That, well, I made another salad mix, a bit like this one. I'll pick this one actually today. But I'm trying an experiment. This has got like oodles of, of compost in it. Now I just put the thinnest of, you know, it's probably about that much in, not even that, you can kind of see. And I'm just hoping kind of, that would be a great, you could have just loads and just like crop. That's the, I love that kind of idea. So I'm trying that. I also repotted me celeriac. Now I don't know if this will come or not, but you know what I mean? It's good compost for that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can you see? Some of the seeds are, are coming through. I'm going to give it another good water. Those are me purple spring onions there. I've still got those to actually go. It's all looking good. Mind they start the like heavy crop now, these. Oh, that's a nice one there. So, today, what I'm going to do is one of the main jobs I want to do is just get ready for the onslaught of the butterfly and the caterpillar invasion because it's coming. Do you know what I mean? You can just you can tell it's in the air, not right, lass. You're just gonna sit. <laughs> she's got this like lordy look about her. And I just want to kind of get ready and get prepared for that. Now, what I want to do, some of these ones, this will stop. You know, caterpillars going in some sort of kind of mesh thing. I mean, I haven't got it actually perfect. So I'm going to give my veg a bit of a squirt with the BT, Bacillus therogenis. And I'll be honest, it's hard to find. Do you know what I mean? I got the idea from Charlie Dowden. He used it. And I was lucky enough to get the same tub he got. And I, I, I'm sure it is expensive. It's a fortune. Do you know I mean? I'm sure now something like... 60 pound i might be i might be totally wrong looking at the wrong thing but i'm sure i paid about 30 for it but it lasts for well there might be a sell-by date and i'm you're kind of running out of it but a couple of teaspoons is all you need now if you cannot get the bacillus theron bt for you know what i mean i'll put a link to jb natural jb has done a lot of research on neem oil and to be honest watch that because i'm thinking that's a great idea is to kind of he's watering the roots with this neem oil it's like a mix like a certain kind of recipe you use to mix it down and 
So you, I'm going to get that quite, or I might get it. There's lots of people kind of text. Happy birthday, the old man. <laughs> so I'll put a link if you wanted to use Nemo. Some people don't. You know what I mean? But he's done a lot of research into it. He's done a video anyways. And now I've got a, some neem oil, but it's actually a mix. It's all ready. And it's it's in there, and I haven't got my keys, so I'm going to get it later. But what I want to do is take off. I'm waffling here, aren't I? Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take off. Now, I put my... I'm going to take off like these. Sorry, I can jump in the bloody gun already. These won't stop butterflies at all. So I'm going to take off the ones that haven't got like butterfly protection and then i'm gonna sp well i'm gonna spray every brassica with it so i'm just gonna probably spray the whole lot of everything but it's great on brassicas that's the kind of main thing i mean you can see there look at that that net's actually getting pushed pushed away because Honestly, once the, once the butterflies come, it's just a way, do you know what I mean? So, I mixed yesterday in this kind of hot heat. I mixed up my BT in this, and this is where I kind of use. And it's like, a, they're like dead fine pepper grains. And if you put it straight in, it, they don't kind of, what I find is they're a bit like still in this kind of granule state it takes a while for it to kind of disperse and kind of you know go into a kind of total liquid form so i just left it and i, I actually left it for sort of day so i can do it on video so that's my kind of bt and i'll just go through the whole lot and it it basically gives them tummy ache and kills them do you know what i mean that's the kind of the thing but it's organic so but I'll, I'll be honest it's like i get loads of people saying where'd you get it from tom where'd you get it from and it's you just gotta find, you know what I mean? It's expensive and it's kinda hard to get, but it is brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, you still get bloody butterflies, you know what I mean? And still get caterpillars, but hopefully it's some way to go into kinda reducing the onslaught. And you kinda do this every, say, six weeks, you know what I mean? Something like that. It's a bit like the nematode thing, you know what I mean? That one coating's not enough. Hello, dears. Hello. Right in front of the camera. Actually, I'll give you a bit of a shade as well. You know, when you think about it, I could quite easily probably do it with this, but I just want to get into these and let, take this off for the time being. I just seem to be getting hampered. By the, it's a low net. Oh, oh mind it, they're coming on these cool Robbie. I'll just keep on doing it, you know, I might as well just give a little bit. But it's mainly for brassicas. Look at there's a great example. Inside, getting ready to lay eggs. You would think I would actually have planned that, do you know what I mean? Mine, there's been some ladybirds of late. I don't want to kind of... Just go on, in there. So I'm going to take that off, do that. I'll probably take them all off and give them a good... a good dousing. Mine, I'll be honest, they're looking all right. These... these were the... Hello! <laughs> Wait, I'll show you. These were those... Brussels sprouts that I had in a cad over there for ages, you know, but they're certainly coming. To be honest, I'm you can kind of see that it's starting to just make for Christmas. I might actually be earlier, and I've got some over there as well. Right then, so that's how I do me BT. And like I say, I'll do it in a couple of well, six, six to eight weeks. But I want to show you now, there's a couple of things now. We're still pottering on in the garden. I want to show you a garden luxury. Right. I've had this little tool for quite a while. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. One second, we've got to get in here and get some of that. Can I just reach it? I don't have bloody sliders on, man. I haven't got... How are you doing? You get it with that. Right, there we go. Right. Come with me. <laughs> Look at them weeds, man. We we'll have to get in there and get them sorted. Right. On this hut, 
I put in a clematis a while ago. My wife got it for the house and I pinched it and put it up here. Now it's just starting to come, but there's nothing for it to kind of grab onto. So I'm going to put this bit netting on, right? Let us just put you there and I'll show you this tool, this tool. It's like a stapler, like an automatic stapler. Now I got it to put the kind of doors on, you know what I mean? To make beds with like plastic and that. But I'm gonna try it on that. And I use it all the time in the house, you know what I mean? But I thought, bring it up. Like you've got a, I don't know if you can, there's like a little black thing there. And you've got to have that pushed in to like wash it in there like that. Right, which I think will be ideal for that, just so it can climb up. So I'll stick you there. Let's get into this. Oh. Now every allotment doesn't need one of these, but they're, they're bloody good. I've, <laughs> look at this, man. I didn't realize I've even old cable ties. Put them in, but that's just brilliant to be honest it makes it neat as well you get carried away now i watched dan's allotment diary you know dan down there in yorkshire and i've watched him for kind of years and he did this thing with onions and i just thought that was like a light bulb moment do you know what i mean it was just like are you kidding i've never thought about doing that and it's something so plainly obvious and actually i cannot do it with these ones i'm going to pull these up today but dan was saying that you know he comes and he was doing like a little harvest and he said which i know it sounds it sounds bizarre and like just use them when you want them now i know that sounds weird but i always wait till they all go over you, you can see there that's what i'm doing there i'm waiting till they all go over then i pick them and store them and some might not work pick them when you want them <laughs> i've never thought of that idea man like i say i'm, I'm waiting for the kind of someone else wishing us happy birthday there just waiting for them all going down then i'll pick them store them and hopefully get it's not what you do man just pick them because you want them man why did not i think of that before so apart from you know most of these are kind of going over anyways do you know what i mean i'm just gonna kind of pull them up and just let them you know they're a nice kind of size there i'm just gonna leave them on the ground for a, a day oh. and there's no onion rot there or anything like that they're nice, nice onions to be right, honest. There's a nice one. There we go. So I'm just gonna, like I say, just leave them for a little bit. There, I've just stopped the growing process. These are some more, but I could probably just, I don't need them, so I'll just leave them. Then, if you look over, I've got, these are the, what do you call them the banana shallots what stan give us put them there and there and obviously they're getting crowded out but hopefully they'll still still be okay three beds spare wow right then look after yourselves take good care